Hey guys, what is up? Got another one to share with you today. It's a, a 1907 two mark. Um, it's a proof coin from uh, Western Germany, uh, turn of the century. Uh, deep cameo proof at that. Um, it's a rare addition to the world coin collection for me. I don't have a lot of um, world coins to begin with, especially this is the only uh, deep cameo example I have. Of a, I think it's actually the only proof world coin I have too. Um, commemorates the death of Frederick Wilhelm the first, who was the Grand Duke of Baden. Baden is was a empire in uh, Western Germany from 1806 to 1918. And Wilhelm was married to Princess Louise of Prussia. So he was a pretty important figure. Gotta love this uh, eagle design on the reverse. I have a few coins like this with the shield and the um, floating crown. It's just such a cool design. Um, Wilhelm was a pretty uh, li somewhat liberal figure as far as his uh, governing. Um, he promoted constitutional monarchy and was a and allowing uh, civil marriages, which um, at that time with, you know, mostly arranged marriages, that was pretty uh, radical, at least in that part of the world, um, and direct elections to the lower houses of government. Of course, he wasn't going to allow direct elections to the upper levels of government where he's at, so, I mean, he wasn't that liberal, but... Um, so it would have been sort of like a quasi-monarchy, democracy, you know, try to make the people feel better like they had some power. When really, they didn't. I'm sure he could overturn any election if he wanted to, but for the seats in Parliament that didn't really matter, he was the first to allow elections. Um, he lived from... Uh, well, he served from 1856 to 1907. I think he lived a little longer than that. I think he was born in the 1830s, died in around his 80s. Um, but yeah, pretty cool uh, figure in history. Uh, I love these old German coins, uh, especially uh, especially proofs. I've seen a few of them. This coin in particular only has two surviving in 64 deep cameo with one better so this is pretty far up there and as far as uh top of the uh, condition census uh, there is a 166 deep cameo so considering that i thought it was pretty cool take just a little closer look at it real quick Pretty solid for a 64 in my book. Looks like I got a little bit of gunk on my uh, lip there. Yeah, beautiful design. I'm finally starting to get the hang of not flipping these on these world coins. I'm so used to doing that with the US coins. Yeah, I mean, you can see a few die polish marks and stuff, but no, you know, real hits or anything on this. Beautiful uh, cameo effect on this coin. So, anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys real quick and get your thoughts on it. Anybody owns any of these uh, old German coins? Let's see what you guys think. So, anyways, uh, take care. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, and have a good rest of your day.